Okay, so the market has been wilding. But today, my friends, is always the best day to invest. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what an ETF is. You'll know the best ones that are out there. You'll know why you should still be buying in. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to actually buy one the easy way. And then just show like a bunch of like flashes of like the stock market crash and all that kind of stuff, just random shit, headlines and all that. So if you've ever heard of an index fund, an ETF is very similar. For ETFs, the best way to think about them is to think of them as special stocks that you can buy and sell on an exchange, just like a regular stock. Now, what makes them special? Well, typically stocks represent one underlying company, but when you buy an ETF, you're not just getting one company, you're getting hundreds, sometimes thousands of different companies all with one share. And ETFs can represent other assets like bonds, real estate, etc. all just by buying one share. Think of it like a fruit bowl. A stock is a grape and an ETF is a fruit bowl with many different types of fruit. The benefit is that it takes the work out of you figuring out which fruit is the best and you spread your risk across all these different fruits. So if one piece of fruit goes bad, it doesn't matter because you got a bunch of other ones in there. Even when markets are going down, it's still a great idea to continuously buy in because that is when you're gonna build the most wealth. The best returns come from the rebound. So with ETFs, all you have to worry about is just continuously buying in over time. And if you can really stay Stick to that, you're gonna build a ton of wealth. By the way, 99% of people that try to outperform the entire stock market as a whole fail, even the big Wall Street hedge fund guys. A lot of them don't even beat the ETFs that we're gonna talk about today, where all you have to do is just continuously buy in. Now, where should you buy ETFs and which one should you buy? Well, last week we went really in depth on three of the best ones that are out there, so you can click the card here and go check that out. But the TLDR, my friends, is that broad market US ETFs, which basically represent the entire American stock market have proven time and time again that they are one of the most effective and prudent long-term wealth strategies in all of history. If the entire US stock market was a pie, getting a broad market ETF is like getting a slice of that pie with all the different stuff that's in the pie in that one slice, of course. So step one of this video is to research and learn more about ETFs for yourself so you figure out which ones you wanna buy. Some of my favorites are the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, the Vanguard Total US Stock Market ETF, and the Vanguard Total International Stock Market ETF. Can you tell I like Vanguard? You can also research a ton of ETFs on ETF.com. ETF.com is one of the best resources that are out there. And when I first got started with investing, helped me tremendously figure out what the hell I wanted. So I would definitely check that out after this video. So now you know that an ETF is like a fruit bowl and it's probably a good idea to just continuously buy them and not try to outsmart the market. And you even have a short list of ETFs that you can start your research on. But how do you actually acquire them? Like literally buy them? Well, you are in luck because it's literally never been easier in history. These days, there's so many low to no fee platforms out there where you can open an account in like 15 minutes. It's literally like open an account, fund it, get your money in a few days, and then just buy the ETFs. But let's break that down further. Step two is to decide which platform you want to use. You can do this by looking up on Google, best low cost brokerages in insert countries. So Canada, US, UK, whatever. But honestly, all I would look for is a cheap option where there's low to no fees. You want an easy, simple interface so you can get around pretty quickly and not be confused. You want to have the ability to open registered accounts like Roth IRAs, TFSAs, etc. And you want pretty good reviews on it. Here in Canada, I use both Quest Trade and Wealth Simple Trade, but if I was in the States, I'd probably use something like Fidelity, Charles Schwab, E-Trade, etc. Ultimately, all that matters is that you guys just get started with investing and you don't pay an arm and a leg to do so. Now, step three is to figure out which kind of account you want to open. If you're in the US, I think starting with a Roth IRA is a really good idea. And if you're in Canada, I think starting with a TFSA is also a very strong idea. Both of these accounts have great tax benefits and are awesome to start with. As you guys get your legs under you with investing and you really get into the routine of it, you can start to open other accounts as well. And if you guys want me to make a video on how to navigate all that, be sure to comment that below. Okay, you've done the research, so you know what ETFs you wanna buy, you know what platform you wanna use, you know what type of account you wanna open. Now, how do you actually go ahead and buy these damn ETFs? Well, step four is to open the account, so let's do that together. Now, it's gonna look different for different platforms, but generally it's a fairly similar process. You're just going to be putting your information and all that jazz. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna use Wealthsimple and if you guys want to get started with Wealthsimple, be sure to click the link in my bio for a free $25 to get started with buying call options. I mean, investing in ETFs. <laughs> 
Uh, basically, with any platform that you're gonna use, you're gonna go in, put your information. It's gonna ask you things like tax information, things like that. That's all normal. It's looking to get you set up for tax purposes. So just basically put in your information. If you have any questions on the sign up process, comment them down below. But we're gonna kind of skip the you know information part and go into the trading and activation part. Okay, guys. So don't have too too much money in this account. But once you've created an account, again the trading screen is going to look very similar to this. So to actually buy an ETF, it's fairly similar. So you're going to go to discover one of my favorites that I talk about a lot is that Vanguard S&P 500 one. So the Canadian version is VFV. So we're just going to search that up here and it's looking, it's trading at $85, which is like crazy. And again, uh, I know that a lot of the apps are similar. They're going to show you the performance, things like that. Essentially, it's very simple these days. Look up the ticker, make sure that you have the correct ticker and, and double check it. Uh, and then you're going to go to buy. So I've got funds, I got $14, so I can't actually execute this trade. But basically, what's pretty cool with well, simple and a lot of other platforms is that you can do a market buy, which is basically buying at the price that somebody's willing to sell it for. Or you could do a limit buy, which essentially is choosing the highest price per share that you're willing to pay. So let's say it's trading at 86. And you'll only buy it at like 84, you could set a limit. So once somebody's like, Okay, I'll sell it for 84. I'll do that. You can do that. But generally speaking, market buys are fine. You know, again, we're not traders, we're not trying to optimize the fraction of a penny. We're just trying to to invest and you're just trying to stay consistent. So market buys are completely fine or fractional buys if you're low on shares. So hey, since we got the $14, we're just gonna do a fractional buy here. So click the fractional buy. I'm gonna put 1486 because that's what I have. I'm gonna go to continue. All right, so confirm purchase, 1486 Canadian worth of VFE. So again, this, the process is going to be fairly similar across the board. No commission, which you should not be paying commission or very, very low commission. Honestly, you shouldn't be paying commission. These days, it should be no commission. Pick a platform with no commission. I'm going to confirm the order, sending the order, done. That's really it. Again, I really hope this was a simple step-by-step -step process for you and you have all the tools that you need to just go out and get it. Again, at the end of the day, it's going to take your research and due diligence. This isn't financial advice. This is just sort of like a walkthrough, but I hope that you guys have gotten enough out of this and to recap step one ETF research. Step two is to figure out which platform is best. Step three is to decide the type of account you want to open. Is it a Roth IRA? Is it a TFSA, etc. Step four is to actually open the account and register it. Step five is to fund the account. And step six is to buy the E. TF. If you guys got any value from this video, please smash the like button, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.